morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back, everybody, to Loving It on Keto. Today is the last day of our vacation and I'm trying to get ready and do some batch cooking for tomorrow so that I can take things to work. I only have to go to work three days next week. Our company pays for Thanksgiving Day and the day after. Very nice of them to do so. But I was looking through my refrigerator trying to figure out what was non-Thanksgiving that I could use and I still have a whole uh, case of Kirkland egg whites that I need to use up. So I thought what better thing to do than to, um, one thing I need to get, this to make my um, a stuffed pie with my three with Wendy's uh, high protein bread version 3.0 but I want to add some of the whole dried eggs into the bread to try that plus I have breakfast sausage I got this turkey sausage by Jenny O I put it here I sliced it up into eight slices and then over here I have a uh, half a cup of egg whites and then six whole eggs in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scramble my eggs and cook them up but I'm gonna cook them up moist I'm gonna cook my uh, pork patties sausage patties in here and then I'm going to come back and make some of my high protein bread version 3.0. I'm going to add 20 grams of the whole dried eggs like uh, Indigo Nelly does with her bread. I'm going to try this with my rendition, my tweak of a recipe. Thank you so much Indigo Nelly for bringing us your best white bread ever. Appreciate it. Using either whole eggs dried or whole egg yolks. So this is going to be a power-packed, high-protein um, meal that I'm going to be making that we can just grab and go, take to work, etc. So you guys, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Now, I don't like the feel of raw meat. I just, I just don't. Chicken specifically, or like a pork like this. So I started. Well, it's kind of slimy. It's kind of weird feeling. I just don't like it. So you just take your sliced. Um, patties. I sprayed the inside of this with some uh, avocado oil. These don't have to be perfect, but I want to make them round because they're going to go in the bottom of my little uh, meat pies that I'm going to be making. So I'm making sa sandwich, sausage and egg, and oh, I can put some cheese sa sandwich buns for Harry to have here at home and for me to take to work. Yes, indeed. So, getting these ready to go. They don't have to be perfect because you're not gonna see them. But I kinda wanna keep the round shake and I wanna make them a little bit thinner than what they are so that they cook evenly. So, I'm gonna get this in the oven or the air fryer in this case. I'm just gonna cook them at 400 for probably six minutes. And then I'm going to get these ready while we're waiting. And Sally's waiting. She says, what are we cooking, Mom? She heard the word bread. She heard the word egg. She heard the word sausage. She's got quite the little vocabulary going. Well, yeah, she lives around here in the kitchen. Yeah. With the rest of us. She does. She lives with Mom and Dad in the kitchen. Huh, Sal? Yeah, she says, well, I heard somebody say they were making something delicious. Sounds good to me. Get these all nice and flat. Throw these away. While that's cooking, I just whipped my um, egg, six eggs, whole eggs, and one half cup of egg whites, Kirkland egg whites. And I am just going to put them into the butter melting. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper. Watch this, you guys, this is great. Come over here. These are those gravity fed. Isn't that cool? 
Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Thank you so much. Get a little salt, get a little pepper going on in my eggs. That's nice to your hands. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now, let's go ahead and get this eggs cooking. I want to cook them a little bit runny because I don't want them overly dry in my, um, I want them cooked, but I want them a little moist. You know? Let me put this all away. And we'll come back when I start making my bread. So my eggs are done. I scrambled them. I put a little bit of my poultry seasoning on it and a little bit more pepper and salt. So those have been scrambled. And I just use my favorite poultry seasoning, which is Morton and Bassett. And it's got rose petals in it. I love this stuff. I just sprinkled a little bit on. I want my eggs to have some flavor. Got my sausage patties all ready to go. They're all ready to go. So I'm going to put them here. And now I'm going to put in my um, three quarters of a cup. So this is a quarter of a cup, so I need that times three. One, two, three. Sorry, I'm banging. Don't mean to bang. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of allulose in mine. Just two tablespoons. Got my new allulose in there, so I'm all nice and filled up. And I've got two teaspoons cream of tartar, half teaspoon Redmond salt. It's going right in. Then in addition to that, I have one teaspoon of active dry nutritional yeast right here right here then I have nutritional yeast one teaspoon half teaspoon xanthan gum I'm basically following this recipe my um, high protein bread version 3.0 now I turned my oven on to 325 instead of 350 because we're making something that's smaller. We want to cook the bread dough. The product inside is already cooked. So I'm going to put this in. I am going to take my beater and I'm just going to mix this if you want to come see. I want to get it all nice and blended in there. I am holding 20 grams of the whole dried eggs that I sifted for after my eggs are have a stiff peak. I'm going to add in one and one half cup water, one and one half cup water, and I'm going to stir it because I found that in this deep mixer you can get some dried powder at the bottom. So just, just to kind of incorporate it. I'm going to put this on. And then what I'm going to do is beat this for at least five minutes. This mixer takes about six to get stiff peaks. Once I have that, I'm going to add in 20 grams of my whole dried eggs. So let's get this started on high.
Now I want to put in a little bit of the egg yolk at a time and just do it on low. And take and make sure that the dried powder is blended that there's none on the side so just kind of check it through it kind of the egg yolk or the egg yolk uh, the whole egg powder kind of turns the meringue a little bit uh, beige so you can see the pure white from that now I'm gonna get an assembly line going here I've sprayed my pan, you guys saw that. And I'm gonna do a little nest. These cheeses out of the way. Okay, so I just take my little containers, put some in. Make a nice nest. You gotta work pretty fast though, you guys, cause this meringue, for some reason, starts falling a little bit sooner than the egg with the real egg whites in it. At least that's what I've noticed when I've done stuff. This really feels nice. And this is like a creamier, beautiful. beautiful texture. It looks beautiful. Just got beautiful texture. Really does. I'm very pleased. Oops. Oops. Yeah, I'll fix it in a minute. Can't stop. I overshot the, the pan. Excuse me. Now, I'm going to take a sausage patty, just lay it in the bottom of each one. I use turkey for two reasons. Turkey is lower calories. There's much less fat, and that's a key because I don't want the fat to be in causing an issue with the egg whites. Now, here's a trick. I'm putting the cheese on top of the... Of the um, patty and that's because I noticed if I put the cheese at the top sometimes you get a little cave from where the cheese melts and then you have a hole in your bun where the cheese is melted so I'm trying to think if I put the cheese on the top and then layer the egg at the bottom maybe I won't have that happen but we'll see now I take my eggs put my eggs in eggs with eggs you guys Yes, indeed. Eggs with eggs. Do you guys do some leftovers? And you guys have leftover meat. You know, you have eggs that you need to cook, like I did with the egg whites, and then just add a couple of whole eggs. 
you're getting really high protein, but you're not getting, you're, and you're using those egg whites. Hope I didn't overfill these. I don't want them too heavy, but I want them full with eggs. Well, you know, you have assistants that will eat whatever the leftovers are. That's true, I do. Sally's, Sally's a great assistant today. She's just right there ready. She's right there ready and able to grab anything that falls. Yes, she is. Okay, she is, man. let's top these. Let's make sure we have enough for everybody to have a lid. And it's just beautiful looking stuff. It's this is beautiful. The egg, the whole egg powder or the eggs, you know, in it, just give it a, a velvet. Yeah. It's like a velvet texture. It's just beautiful sheen and color and it's just, video just can't get the... The coloring uh, yeah, of it? Just yeah, can't. it does make a pretty egg. It does. If I was shooting a red, maybe I could, or but not this. Or an Aries. An Aries would get the color. See, I didn't get any powder at the bottom either by beating it by hand first and blending it well together. Yeah. So by putting eggs in here, you've got a breakfast bun. It's an anytime bun, but I like having a nice bun with my um, coffee in the morning, so. That's what I'm doing. Let's get some of this, the rest of this out. I think the cover's pretty good, except like there's a spot back here in the back. Oh, back see, there. you can see it. I can't. And that's okay if some of the meat or something shows, because it does, it does fluff up. You know, it does rise and, yeah. and kind of plump up a little bit. I think I think we're good to go. Yep. Houston. I think we've got lift off. Right? Yep. Looks good to me. Sometimes I get too much into the perfection. Okay, got to get this into the oven. 325 into the oven. I'm gonna cook these for about 30 minutes, you guys. I'm gonna come back and check it, but I think 30 min minutes is good. So let's get the timer on. And I'm hoping I don't have too much heavy ingredients, and I hope that the fat in that turkey sausage doesn't cause the bottom to fall is what I'm hoping. So you guys, fingers crossed, let's come back and see if we've got sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast rolls. Okay. okay. Hey Harry, can you get the buns out of the oven? Ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah, I can. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, those look really nice, don't Ooh, they? Look at how they turn out. They look nice. Where do you want them? Right there, yeah, just a long way on the stove. Look at that, you guys. Mm. These turned out really nice. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Here you go. 
Okay, you guys, those look wonderful. I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to put them right here so they can cool off a little bit instead of continuously cook on. They're sticking. There we go. On to the paper towels. So that's nice. They smell. Man, those smell good. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, they? they really smell Floral. good, you guys. I am very excited about these. So we're going to let them cool off so that I can actually get them out of here and touch them without burning my hands. But let me explain a little bit about what's been happening at our house since we got back from Disneyland. We were very sore and very tired because we walked an average of 20,000, 22,000, 28,000, somewhere around in there in steps. Um, are you on me, yeah. Mr. Cameraman? Doesn't look like you're on me at all. Oh, I'm on you. Okay, anyway, um, so going home, we were very tired, very stiff, very sore, you know, and uh, Friday, Harry was extremely cold. He said he was cold, he put on sweats, and. He uh, was achy all over and wasn't feeling very good. And then Saturday, he said, you know, he, he was sleeping and couldn't, wasn't waking up. He was just really lethargic. And I said, let me go get the thermometer and take your temperature. It was like 99, you know. And as the day progressed, his temperature turned into a fever. And Saturday night, he had 101 degree temperature and then last night or actually early this morning at 2 30 he had the night sweat so bad that we literally soaked his side of the bed and he had a really high fever we had to change uh, the bedding out and his pillow out and change his clothes and stuff so this morning we decided to go get a rapid uh, zombie apocalypse lockdown virus test and trying to get an appointment somewhere was like ridiculous because of course it's Sunday here. We finally got one and the place that we went to and got his test done did both the rapid and then the one that's the 72 hour one which is the one that pretty much nails it. The rapid test is so-so. The gentleman that was there taking the information told Harry that it's about 65% accurate but with Harry knowing everything that he had um, we just got both done it was free so we got them both done we just got uh, the notice that he does not have according to the rapid test that result is negative now I know several people that have had several false positives that had ended up having COVID um, with that but Harry in the past has gotten influenza in the past so i'm thinking he may just have a case of the regular flu cold chills fever lethargic sleeping all the time and this too will pass but um we're gonna we're getting label, the video done we're getting the videos done we did this light and easy he has not been able to do a compilation of disneyland and we apologize for that he we do have bone broth on hand that he's going to start drinking a cup or two a day in and I wanted to make something. Now I called my boss and told him what was happening. He said, I said, what is the protocol for this with HR? And he said, I don't want you to come to work tomorrow. Let's find out about the test. Let me talk to HR. Because I said, if Harry is sick and it's not um, the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus, he's got influenza. And we have been together this whole time so the chances of me not getting it it's 50 50. you know what i mean um so that's where we are you guys but i want to come back and i want to taste one of these buns because i'm telling you ooh, wait a minute maybe i talked just and oh look, look at, that. at that oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh this is beautiful you guys and like indigo nelly says when you put the whole egg yolk or the egg yolk powder in it doesn't fall you guys this is beautiful this is wonderful so all you got to do is talk long enough and things happen let me go get a plate <laughs> and a knife yeah 
everything was wet because we just did dishes to wash this. But come here, Harry. Let's cut this. I want to see the difference between having cheese at the top and cheese layered between the sausage and the egg, if it makes a difference, you guys. Oh, man, that cuts nice. Oh, yeah. I am excited. Man, am I excited. You see. Oh, it yes. does. You guys, look at that. That worked perfect. Layering your cheese between the meat. Look how nice that turned out. Can you see that, Harry? Yeah, I'm trying. Let's see here. Get in too, I don't want to get too close in. Now. You gotta try that. I do. I want to try the texture up here. Texture is perfect. The texture is perfect. Man. Okay, let's give this a taste test. I'm excited. Doesn't that look yummy? Yeah, it does. Does it work? Does it taste like a breakfast sandwich? This tastes better than a breakfast. Oh, yeah. I'm, I want you to taste it, Harry. All right. Okay, I know you're not feeling good, but I want you to taste that. Pick it up. Smell it. Ooh, that smells really good. Doesn't it? With that yeah. little bit of uh, seasoning on the... Uh, to, let me see it. Let me see the sandwich. Feel the bread part. See what I'm saying? Yeah. It's real nice. Okay, go ahead and have a taste. see that in there? Oh, the cheese is dripping. Better take a bite. Oh, man. This would be great for breakfast. That's why they're called breakfast sausage mm. egg and cheese buns. I'm agreeing. Aren't they delicious? Aren't those delicious? Wow, I really like that. How do you like the bread? Try just like a little piece of the top part of the bread with that egg yolk, uh, egg white, what is it? Whole egg powder. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah? It worked out great. Don't yeah. you think it's a win? Uh-huh. How you feeling, babe? I'm really hot. Oh, well, Inside. yeah. Inside. Here, come on. Come take the camera so we can go ahead and do a close. <laughs> you guys, these are lovely. Let me get a plate so I can put them all out. These are going to be grab and go. Man, look at this. Just come right out of there. Mm -hmm. This is the neatest thing. Love the texture on the bottom. I love the texture on the bottom. I love the texture. And look, they even got a little brown. So the two tablespoons of allulose is good for me, you guys. Yeah. These have turned out absolutely beautiful. Man. Sally is waiting. She's yes, waiting yes. very patiently. Right below. She is waiting so patient. So you guys, breakfast buns are available. And I know that when I've made buns in the past, just refrigerating them and just heating them, wrapping them in a paper towel for just a few seconds works wonderfully. If you guys like those ones you used to get from uh, Mickey D's. Yeah, these are better. Yeah, they taste better. These have much more flavor. Not, They're not huge and big like those were. But man. Man, are they good. Just look look at those. Woo! Those are nice. They smell heavenly, you guys. I'm excited. Yeah. And because he, Harry doesn't feel well, he can just grab one of these, wrap it in a paper towel, and nuke it for about 25, 30 seconds. So it was my, um, I'll, I'll get the recipe out for this, and I'll post it in the, uh, I'll pin it to the comment line, and I will get it up to our Facebook with Wendy Fans Group, because you guys, it's really worth it. Oh, yeah. It is really it is worth, so it. worth it. It oh. is so good, and it's a great way to use up egg whites. It's a great way to use up extra meat and eggs and things that you have. But I like the fact that the cheese being in the middle, 
on top of the solid sausage works really well. Here, Sally, would you like a bite? You would. <laughs> you think? She loves the bread. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. This, look, this has got some sausage. Yeah. Pretty good stuff, huh, baby? <laughs> And I like that this is super easy to clean. We just put this in the top of our dishwasher, just like this, yeah, and it, it cleans, cleans it up. super duper easy, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video for today. Tomorrow, we're gonna go back to our calendar. We're gonna share our weights and share our tips and tricks that we did in Disneyland to stay keto, what we had to eat, and all those good things, everybody. So please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you right here tomorrow. Sally, can you say goodnight? Oh, we said it too soon. I think I got it. Did you say goodnight? Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Boy, she's doing, oh yeah. She knows. She says, I want some I sausage. Want some more. Would you like some sausage and egg with that? Yes. Mm. Is that good? <sighs> This is mommy's. Mommy's turn. Yeah. I like that. I that could is, eat that every morning. That is so good. I mean, seriously. It needs nothing else. Just a little bit of poultry. Mm -hmm.